Have you ever watched a Brawlhalla match and saw somebody do something you just were like, what in, what in the world is that? How did they do that? Is, that doesn't even seem possible. Then today, we're going to go over some of those things that you might have seen and some things that you might not know is in Brahala that you can use to your advantage. Hey, what's up guys? SkillsWG here, back again with another Brahala video. Today we're going over some of the Training. things that you just see in this game that are just odd. You know, we, these are techniques, tricks, and things that are just put into the game that people may not know about. Some of you may, you may know about it. Some of them are a little more commonly known, but still people at come to me and be like, hey, what is this thing you did? Uh, and, but some of them are way less commonly known. So we're gonna go over those and let me know down in the comments. Did you know about all these? Did, which ones did you know about? Which ones do you actually use? Because a lot of these are used during actual gameplay and some of them are very less likely to be used, but let me know, let me know in the comments. Also, if you're watching this video and you're liking what you see, hit the like button down below, if you would please. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more content like this. Ranked gameplay from Diamond 21, 2200 plus, and we'll continue to see around the videos. But anyways, let's just jump in to some of these techniques and tricks that you may not know about. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with one of the most common questions I get into this game what i've done uh, like if you guys know me i've done blasters i'm a blasters main mostly uh i've spent so much time on blasters and one of the things that i like i said i get the most questions on how do you get to dash jump after after an attack because I'll, every, every time i do it i always chase dodge well here's the deal when you can in this game you can also use and hold down to dash like so it doesn't do anything different. It's the same thing as a, as a forward dash, but after you do an attack, if you hold right and try to dash, you will always have a chase dodge. So the technique that you may not know in this game is that after an attack, you can, while grounded, you could hold down to dash after an attack rather than chase dodge. And this causes the ability to do downlight recovery. So if you see, I will I will completely hold down after I light it uh, after I uh, attack, and I can pull off the downlight recovery. It don't even I don't even hold left click or I don't even hold right at all. I just hold down because after the attack, I chase dodge or I uh, I dash. So we'll go and watch this slow motion here. So after the downlight attack here, I do an immediate dash and jump and then recovery like that. So after an attack, if you hold down and dash, you will dash forward, sticking with the dashing and dodging. We all know that we can dodge in this game and we can dodge in directions such as up diagonal and diagonal and those. After you have an attack, you have something called the chase dodge, which moves you faster and further than a regular dodge would, as you can see in like this way. And when you're attacking your opponent, you can do it uh, up, up towards, to the side, and down. And it'll give you that. You, you cannot do it away. It just does not work. But did you know, this is something that you may not know in this game, you can actually have two chase dodges after you attack. And you can do it in directions that you may not expect you'd be able to do. Just like that and like that. Across, side, up, right. Look at this. Diagonal down. Look at these do look at these double dashes we got. It me messes up your opponent a lot because you might they might think you're going into it and nope you're going away. You're going away. You might you might think they're gonna you're gonna go in and then uh, uh, light attack down. Great. These can mess up your opponents like a lot. Getting your getting expecting you to go one chase dodge after them and then do two. Sometimes people like to light attack after they get hit, but doing this double one will make you so far away from your opponent in a spot where you can punish them. And like I said, it mixes them up. If you're going up after them, instead of you do something like that, you can punish their their missed attack that they get on you, or just kind of mess with their brain. Do it. Or do 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 different ones up. Look, you can do a double up. Look at that. Look how high you are now. You're out of the way, out of anything. Then you get up, down. Look at that. 
and then you're just messing with their brain. Just do a bunch of different ones. It'll mess with their brain. It's fun. And it, you, there's some, some cool things you can come out of it. So, did you know you can double chase dodge in this game? I should probably mention that in the last clip that chase dodge, double chase dodges only work when you hit the opponent grounded and not in the air. You get a single chase dodge if you hit the opponent in the air. But anyways, on to the next one. Did you know Rocket Lance has an ability to cancel its active initial initial frames and by doing a what we call a wall cancel so if you see like side air and down air has these big like startup right at the beginning here startup frames is what i'm uh, what i meant to say at the beginning startup frames here you can see it's charging up and there's your first first attack so when i jumped here 14 15 frames you know i'm just guessing right now and down air also has something like that too. Did you know a wall cancel will cancel most of those starter frames? Almost everything. It, just by doing an attack at the time that you touch the wall. So you'll see when I had an, a startup here, start up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Frames are canceled. Now it's more so. It actually happens quicker if you do it, if you do it right. Let me see, let me see at these frames here. One, two, three, four, four frames. See, I just was did it a little bit too uh, bad the first time. And down air, it's just simple, crazy, crazy. How many little frames you get on this? And this is this is something that actually can work and help in game. It's very hard to use precisely. One, two, three, four, five, six frames. When it has a start of a lot more frames than that normally. So did you know in Brahalla that Rocket Lance has two abilities to use wall cancel off, off the wall and stop your starting frames? Did you know that if you have prioritized neutral overside, that when you hold W and or up, when you hold the direction key at the same time, it'll prioritize a neutral light over a side light. Now, this is beneficial in the game for many reasons. If you were to hold side side direction and when you try to dash away, you would just do a side light. Now, if you were had that checked on and you hold W while you do the same thing, you'll perform a neutral light. Okay, now this works in multiple different situations, such as the uh, dash jump reverse snare. You can see that when I get to this point right here, when I dash jump, I, I hold the opposite direction and W in order to perform a neutral air instead of a side air. If I had that turned off, then I would do something like this, a side air, which is something I can do without holding W anyway. So. And this also happens if you have W, some people, I started with W to jump before. So I used push W to jump. So I can never do a side light or a jump reverse nair like this ever. And now it's very easy to do, as you can see. And also a dash away reverse reverse nair when I'd always have to do a side light like that. Because just holding, having that ability to push W to make it a neutral attack makes it that much easier. Now, people who do not have this turned on, I suggest you do, because after playing with not having this ability for many years and then switching over, I realized how much better it is to have the option available to you. Because I couldn't, no matter what I could do, I just couldn't get my fingers to go quick enough. And the game isn't actually designed to go quick enough to be able to do a reverse nair or end light like that or reverse nair without having prioritized neutral over side. As you can see with Scythe here, you can do something like this and reverse nair like that. Fast falling or reverse nair. You can see a lot of people with Scythe do this where they do a fast fall and reverse nair. Boom. For people who's jumping. And it only works with that. It's very hard to do otherwise. So. As you can see, it's just there's a lot of and this happen. This works with a lot of good weapons like Rocket Lance having the reverse big circle. Is very very good. I do that all the time. So it's a good thing to have in your game. So did you know? Did you know this in this game that you could do a reverse nair, reverse neutral light by just having prioritized neutral over 
side. Did you know that in this game, you know about gravity canceling, but did you know that you could actually wait a few milliseconds longer to gravity cancel instead of doing it right away? And doing this may lead to you punishing an attack that whiffed right through you. Now, the attack time is very slow. Like, it's not that much longer than gravity. Like, if you just do a gravity cancel like this, it's you, you're doing it right away, right? But you have the opportunity to wait a few milliseconds longer and do it, then perform an attack and having them dodge, dodge through it. And as you can see right there, the quick the difference is very minimal. But in game, in higher level gameplay, you'll see people do this a lot and it'll punish attacks that have, aren't really punishable at times. All right, we'll go right here and see. And now I, I don't do this as much as I should in game, but you'll see how many times I'm... We're going to count the frames and see how long I'm in this one versus when I immediately spot dodge attack. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16 or 17 frames, and then I attack. Versus when I do it real quick, like 1, 2, 3 three frames okay now that is a lot of frames that's a big difference when when it comes down to when they're attacking and everything it's still a very hard thing to do not easy but the ability to have 10 or more frames of invincibility before you attack is quite good is quite good indeed and plus being having a uh, neutral or gravity canceled attack versus like like what I just did there a side air is that you have the ability to have a string move like like sword downlight or uh, you know that into neutral air or something like that just that ability to have a grounded move as an attack versus a side air like that is just good so did you know that in this game you can actually wait a few milliseconds or a few frames more before you attack a gravity cancel did you know that Blasters also has a move that cancels starter starting frames and it's the ground pound like that. It's not something you would think to do, but it's very hard to perform and is very it's usable in game, but very hard to use. And that is a back dash forward dash off the ledge here to a ground pound. Now it's very hard to do. So we'll see what we can do here like that. Did you see that? no initial frames at all it was it's so crazy so i backdash off the ledge just enough and forward dash while i'm off in the air and then ground pound and it's just look at this look at this ground pound boom now it's the reason why it's not the easiest or the best is it's hard to perform and only this little bit that is over the edge is what's gonna hit your opponent. And because of your your hitbox being right where it's at, because of your hitbox where it's at, and the hurt box of the blasters, it actually will catch people who are standing on the edge right there. And it's so fast that people will not see it coming. And blasters has one of the strongest ground pounds in the game. It's, I mean, it's maybe not the strongest, but it's still very, very good ground pound. Uh, but the just the ability to have that is kind of crazy. So did you know that Blasters had a an ability, a move that d deletes starting frames? Now I'm not sure what exactly they call this, but did you know that in this game you can perform ledge dashes or platform dashes without having to use a dodge? By, by getting at the exact moment that you are right by the edge and per pushing the dash button, dash or dodge, you are able to move and dash instead of dodging. And you can see it improves your movement quite a bit if you do it right. Now, I, in experimental, like where I'm at right now, the, uh, the ability to do this a lot easier. They have a lot more lenient frames. Uh, it, while in ranked at the moment, it's a lot more precise, but it still can be done. So what happens is when you jump to a ledge, you use dash right when you reach it at a specific frame and you hit it and you will dash forward instead of dodging and you see how I connected right to the, the platform right there and it caused me to dash now that if you could do that over and over again you get something like this where you can go back and forth and you can do back dashing off in the air to go down like this and we, what you do you just get some crazy movement going on and it can 
mess up you can mess with your opponents like this you know something like that you can also out of the dash you can perform attacks like that out boom like this any any type of thing you can do out of a dash you can do like this and the movement is just it makes it makes it feel so much faster and you guys want to get better at movement i suggest practicing this start off i would start off maybe in experimental to get used to it but in ranked you have to turn off the experimental uh mode in practice to be able to get better at it because it is a little bit harder in, in ranked but it is very possible and a lot of the pros are able to do that pretty easily so did you know that you could perform a platform dash instead of dodging if you're just in the right spot all right guys then that is all the techniques i wouldn't even say all that is a lot of the techniques tips and stuff that i have for you that you may not know that exists in this game and there's probably a lot of other things that i've said that you may not know in this game or other things that i have missed but these are a good general few of things that you may not know that's that's in brahala that you can actually use in the game to make you a better player some of them are a little like i said a little less likely to be used in game some of them like the rocket lance that one when i played rocket lance a lot i use that thing all the time kinks pass it's a scary option and you just bounce back and forth <laughs> back and forth against those those walls uh but yeah use some of these tips and tricks in your game practice with them a little bit get used to them and it'll be something that could be fun for you to tell your friends that you're like, whoa, look, did you know you could do this? Did you know you could do this in this game? There's a lot more into this game that some people think. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, like I said at the beginning, don't forget the like button. You gotta hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it for more content coming your way. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.